What is up and welcome back today guys. Today we'll be, of course, working on the SCI. We'll actually be washing it and if you guys have been here for a long time, you know that I've made some progression with the way I've detailed and washed my car. When we first started, I'm pretty sure I was, I actually I know, I was using the two bucket method wrong. I was actually using a sponge in both and mixing them up. Don't do that, not recommended. Um, and then I also was um, using electric pressure washer. Well, as you guys know, a couple months ago at this point, we now got a gas pressure washer, so a lot more power. That also means that today we're gonna be focusing on this guy. So it's a foam cannon. So a lot of you guys have probably seen these foam cannons around the internet and all. So I'm gonna cover why you actually need to buy one of these because they're pretty awesome and they definitely improve the way I wash my cars today. So if you're new to the channel, this is my 2004 STI. Um, we've done a lot to it. It's been around a lot. Um, we've pulled the motor, we've done a lot of exterior stuff, we've done a lot of interior stuff, and we've also raced it. And that's what we'll be preparing today and the next couple of videos is we're actually going ahead and we're going autocrossing again in this car because autocrossing is amazing. But that's not today's video. Today's video is this and my method and using that foam cannon. So as you can see, the car is extremely dirty. It's because me and Adrian, my other friend with a 2006 STI, went on a night cruise when it was raining, of course. Um, that's what it does in Alberta. So what we did is we went through a lot of rain. So the car itself is really dirty, so it's really in need of a clean. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So for the process, really it's the same thing as we've done, been doing for the last probably year. We kind of solidified our process there. We just got some upgraded um, materials. So using the two bucket methods, I'm using five gallon pails with a grit guard on the bottom so you don't actually pick up all the dirt. A really, really um, foamy sponge and um, a pressure washer. Now we get to use a gas one so that makes it a lot more fun. We're using it on a wide angle so we don't go ahead and strip paint or remove decals because I've seen that happen. And then we're using this. So this, um, there's lots of companies that make these kind of um, foam cannons, but really you can get any one of them because they're all kind of the same thing. The main thing is the core inside. So I'm using just a standard core. I might have to upgrade eventually and put some um, different, but essentially it's just steel wool and it aerates the foam in here. And then you can adjust your spraying pattern like this. These are actually pretty cheap. The big issue is finding a pressure washer that actually lets them work. So they have to have a certain um, flow rate and a certain pressure. This guy fits perfectly with that one, so we have no issues with that. Um, and then for this, I'll show you exactly what I'm using in a second and how much we're going to be using of it. But really, there's um, however much you want. And then once we spray this down, so we're going to spray this down without spraying down the car. We're going to um, make sure it's on max, so we can actually adjust how much foam we want. We want as much as foam as possible. We're going to spray it down, and then we're going to two bucket, wipe every panel, and then go ahead, rinse it off, and then we're going to dry it. My drying process has been the same for quite a while, as, as I said. So we're using a quick detailer that I've made with um, no rinse wash and um, diluted it to a 16 to 1 and a really, really foamy cloth so that I don't scratch the paint. The cart is in need of a detail. That will probably be in the next year because, um, or less than a year because we'll get it ready for next car season because I might have to put a new windshield in, I gotta get a crack in that and so forth. So let's go hop in the garage, fill this guy up and then start washing. As I said, we'll be using this foam cannon. So it's got a pretty good amount of volume in this. Um, but what Atmos Polish says is, if you're using their foam cannon, which is a little less volume, use three to four ounces. So I'm gonna go on the top side of that. Oh yeah, I'm using Atmos Polish car shampoo because it's good stuff. Anyways, um, three to four ounces, really go four just because it's a little bit bigger of a bottle than the Adams Polish Foam Cannon. Um, so we'll do four ounces. I'm gonna mix it or pre-mix it in my one of my soapy water containers and then pour it in here and then add any more water we need and then we'll be back out on the car and getting that to it. And there we go. We have it all filled up and ready to go. So time to start up the pressure washer and get this going. For pretty obvious reasons, um, you won't get any commentary while I do this because that thing is noisy and neighbors hate me. So we're gonna run that, maybe do a little edit and then we'll catch you on the flip side.
And as you saw, everything is now um, covered in soap, or it's kind of falling off, but there's soap on there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a two bucket, rinse every panel, and then take the pressure washer and spray it off, and then go ahead and dry it. So I'm going to do that before it all disappears. And now it's clean. Well, it kind of is. Um, this isn't the optimal weather to be washing a car in. It's sunny and windy, so it dries off really quickly. So when I was filming, I had to be sure to not let the soap dry, and I kind of let the soap dry in a couple spots. So on the hood and stuff, there's little water spots. But I mean, the car needs, is going to need a wash in a couple weeks anyways, so not too big of a deal. And because of that, we actually didn't get to show you guys the whole process. So I, sh I stopped after the soap, and I kind of told you guys what I was going to do. But now I'll actually tell you exactly what I did. So what I did after the soap is I took the um, two buckets and did the two bucket standard two bucket method the right two bucket method went ahead and wiped it all down and then after that I used the pressure washer and washed off all the soap and then made sure to put some quick detailer spray quick detailer and use a soft rag with that soft rag um, I want to make sure I didn't scratch it but as any car eventually it is going to get a little scratch so I'm starting to notice this, noticing some scratches so eventually we are going to have to polish it but I mean that's kind of the um, process but anyways it still looks pretty good I just got the windows left I did the wheels um, the wheel wells are really dirty still I kind of forgot to pressure wash them out but um, if it does rain on Saturday like it might the car is going to get extremely dirty again anyways because we're on an um, old runway or a still active runway anyways next thing as I said is the windows so we'll go ahead and do that now for window um, cleaner, I actually use this invisible glass. I think most detailers do nowadays because um, it's good for tint and um, it's a lot better than the Windex, I find. So what we're going to do is just wipe off all four windows and then do the um, material in here. And then I think I'll probably do some armor roll or something on the dash because... Not armor roll. Don't use armor roll. Um, just some Thera 3 protectant or some cleaner just because I don't think it's been done so far. Now with the windows and then all the mirrors and all the other glass in the car, we have one step left. We're just going to use some um, quick detailer wipes because honestly this car doesn't get driven that much so it's not that dirty. But it's always good just to freshen it up a little bit and wipe it down. And then other than that we are good and I'll just go run through a couple more things with a foam can and the whole reason why you probably clicked on this video and then that will be today's video. I may have went a little overboard. I went ahead and actually vacuumed the car and then wiped down the door jams and wiped off the um, floor mats. So the car is now really clean for autocross even though it might get dirty but um, I was noticing the door jams were getting dusty and it's not even I think dusty from driving just dusty from sitting which I guess makes sense. Um, but anyways now the car is nice and clean so yeah we did a good job. Anyways I want to finish up with the whole reason we made the video today this foam cannon. So um, as you guys can probably tell it sprays so much foam and that's because well it's pretty much matched for the pressure washer so it has the same um, gallons per minute and the same PSI that they recommend so obviously it's going to work really well um, and as I said it's because they have essentially um, a hole in here with a bunch of wire um, steel wool that kind of aerates the foam and then makes it all foamy so that's why it worked so well especially when you use the correct measurement so before I used about an ounce two ounces and it just wasn't getting as much foam but as soon as you start putting in the three to four ounces it works exactly as um, expected also that tank did my car like three times so kind of behind the scenes um, I had to film the video and then I did some of the time lapse, then I did some of the edits and then I did a little thing for my car Instagram which would be the Schrader Labs one so um, I had to do it three times to make sure I had foam on it for the whole time and that tank didn't wear out so you can get pretty much two full cars with it which is perfect. Um, maybe I'll only mix half a tank and then use um, two ounces because really you don't need four ounces for your car. Um, but the whole process of that is awesome because what happens is it was hard to catch on camera and kind of hard to show you guys because of the way um, the video was and how quick I had to be with the sunlight. Um, that was really warm by the way. But with this sunlight and stuff because um, it would dry up and kind of did dry up and leave some water spots um, is that Usually with your two bucket method you use soapy water on your sponge as you're wiping the car. The issue with that is still you don't have that layer of soap to protect the paint and it still might get some contaminants and scratches. So what that foam does it adds another layer of when you're wiping it down. It just kind of lubricates a little bit more and makes sure you, you get less and less scratches. Because the whole point or the whole purpose is when you're trying to clean a car is to get as little contaminants scratching the paint and just kind of get them to flow off. So that's what that foam does there. Um, also, if you want to do a really quick wash and you didn't have a lot of dirt, you just had dust, you 
that's Suru. Um, you could actually go ahead and spray the foam and then just spray it with a brush washer if it was just dust and it would clean pretty well actually. So yeah, that's kind of why um, I use a foam cannon and I'm sure a lot of detailers do, um, is just to help um, protect the paint just a little bit more. Um, so if you guys are detailing, um, let me know what your process is and it's, see, maybe it's probably a little different than mine. Um, but that is going to be it for today, so as always, peace out and stay humble. Oh, look at this.